45. A shop sells trainers and shoes. In one month, the number of trainers sold and the number of shoes sold were in the ratio of 7 to 10. If 510 pairs of shoes and trainers were sold altogether, how many pairs of shoes were sold? We know then that the number of trainers sold and the number of shoes sold were 7 to 10. This ratio indicates that for every 7 pairs of trainers which were sold, 10 pairs of shoes were sold. We know in total 510 pairs of shoes and trainers were sold. Look at the ratio and add the two parts together. They come to 17. So for every 17 pairs of footwear that were sold, 7 were trainers and 10 were shoes. So now we should see how many groups of 17 we can make from 510. Think about groups of 17 and use number facts to help you. For example, 10 groups of 17 would of course be 170. That means that 20 groups of 17 would be twice as many, 340. If I add those two numbers together, then you can see I make 510. So in total, we can make groups of 17 from 510 30 times altogether. This means we can multiply 7 by 30 and also 10 by 30, and this will tell us how many pairs of each kind of shoes were sold. 7 times 30 is 210. 10 times 30 is 300. As a final check, if I add together the number of pairs of trainers and the number of pairs of shoes, do I end up with 510 pairs of shoes and trainers altogether? Yes, I do. So that's a double check for getting the answer right. The question asks how many pairs of shoes were sold, and you can see that in total 300 pairs of shoes were sold, making option C the right answer to this question.